<coughs> That's a finger! A finger! I can identify body parts. I bet you can. <laughs> Director, Steven Drex, TV, and Sam Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for all juicy content. And thank you for watching the Patreon and follow us official Twitter account. We didn't rehearse that. Nope. But it was in the same. We don't rehearse anything. It's so juicy. Stop it. <laughs> uh, and I can see him in the mirror that we have set up to see uh, the recording. And to today. Thank you for watching on Patreon. Follow I don't know if I said that already. Did you I? did. Well, you did, but it was unintelligible. Ah, uh, thank you for watching. Today we have a special little video. Oh, really? It was made by Stupid Baby. Sweet. And it's then it's gonna be awesome. Art video. An art video. They drew us or painted us. Really? So it's like Multi stupid baby. multiple of them. It's only uh, it's two minutes, but multiple baby of art. the Stupid Babies uh, painted or drew <laughs> us. And they sent it just to blows us. my mind. The, the, the memes and the art and... And, and, and I, I, I've seen other art reviews, people, fan art and all that kind yeah, of yeah, stuff. Yeah. There's crazy talented people out there. Yes, there are. I can't even imagine how they can do such a thing, so I'm guessing that's what we're going to be getting. Cool. Uh, but uh, here we go. Ah! Oh my goodness gracious! Alright, here we go. TSF, the stupid family. Like the animation. You wanna do our intros? The best, <laughs> the best family on YouTube. <laughs> that was terrifying. Does it just blow well, your someone's taking the time to detailed and lovingly render a picture of you. It just blows my mind that the stupid family loves us so much that they would take the time to do stuff like this. They really got your wrinkles well. Yes, they did. I've, <laughs> I've heard those bad boys, friend. <laughs> I know what shirt that is. Wow. Wow. That's insane. Looks like a, like a black and white photo. It really does. Tika Patel. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Yeah! Look like Van Gogh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we've baby. Seen that one. Yeah, we've I've yeah. seen that one before. I that have one. seen that one too. I, I like that. that. I like that one a lot. I think I've tweeted that one out. Yeah. The, the, the different, it almost looks like a Braveheart ish kind of thing. Yeah, well, is it that, wasn't that from when we did Holy? Yes. It was, wasn't it? Because yeah. I see there's some of the color in your ear. Yes. <laughs> yes. I can't wait for Holy again. Oh. Ooh, I look evil. You, you look both evil and sexy. <laughs> oh, but look, they made the hair come down a little bit more than it actually is in real life over there. Yeah. Yeah. These are called, I don't know, headshots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You should submit that on something. Yes. Ooh. Yes. You know who you look like? It, you know, it looks a little bit. It looks a little bit like Nick Cage. <laughs> I was thinking the uh, the priest from Hunchback of Notre Dame. Oh, really? Yeah, evil, that really evil the guy. Really evil priest. Yeah. Yeah, that's who I would play in that film if they turned that animated that, thing into yeah. a real life thing. That guy's probably the best villain because he's so evil. Yes, that's a great it's one. So cool. <laughs> wow. Hold on, I'm wearing glasses. It's, it's Rick Corbin, yeah. Oh, it's because the fake glasses I have in one of my pictures. Yeah, it's Rick Corbin. That's kind of scary. Wow, you definitely bring me down. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> you look like I've had a stroke. <laughs> yeah, my side is a stroke. <laughs> is that me? That's you. It's me as Spider-Man. Well, yeah, you're, anything with a beard is going to be you. I thought it was Micah for a second because they made Micah Spider-Man. That's true, they have made him Spider-Man. That's so cool. I like that you're standing in first position, by the way. Very nice. 
What is that? In ballet, your feet are in first position. That oh. that is, and which is which is also the same as first position in Odyssey dancing. Shut up. Whoa, dude, you have amped yourself up. Oh, I'm yoked. <laughs> I'm super reactive. This is not what it looks like. Hold on. When, when was, was the last time you saw your face on a mirror? <laughs> I like our tats, man. And your key around your neck is there. That's a great comment. My, my Upna Time Iga is on there. That's that cool. is great. That's a really I good... I love that. Yeah, I, I look too. jacked. You do look <laughs> jacked. But you need to do more work on the right arm. Look at the left arm compared to your right arm, man. Something's going on. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't... Why are your arms so big? <laughs> that's not the only thing that's big. <laughs> He has a big heart, lol. I, did. I didn't know this thing could talk. No. I'm tired of hiding behind your head. I am a strong, independent pillow. That's true. Wow, it is true. Where are you? There you go. His name is Calcifer. Yep. Wow. That's so cool. I love that. Oh, Is that a drawing? Yeah, it looks like it's a photo turned digital drawing kind of thing, doesn't it? It's a really good drawing. It is. It's really cool. I know that your shit. eyes look very soulless right there, though, my friend. Which is I get they caught the they, you caught the essence of Corbin. <laughs> oh, so beautiful, love, love and respect for song. <laughs> and so sweet. Wow, you guys, man. <laughs> One, you're talented. So that's that's first and foremost. But we never imagined when we start one, obviously, that we'd be doing Indian content because we right. didn't know really that it existed. Didn't even know it existed. Outside of we knew Bollywood was a thing, but not yeah. something that it was worth reacting to. Not at all. Um, not at all. Um, so that was obviously a big shock. But then the amount of love that we've been given... Um, I don't think either of us had ever. No way. Imagined. No way. Not, I, I, I didn't Especially even, not from the internet. That's exactly what I was just going to say. I didn't even know it was possible to have this kind of personal connection that I don't know. And they may exist, but I don't know of any other YouTubers. I mean, they've got fans. Mm -hmm. And they've got people who like them and love them. But the kind of... That's why we started calling it the stupid family. The level of, you know... Re it began with them saying, you become a part of my personal life. Like, my day starts now with a cup of chai and with you guys. And, and then the message is about going through hard times and you guys are the only thing that's made me able to get through the hard thing I'm going through. And messages like, you guys don't even realize what you're doing, but you're creating a bridge between cultures. It's just... Uh, Which we love. Yeah, we love. I mean, all of those things are such deeply, deeply valuable stuff for us, but the, the amazing miracle of all of this is that this has just happened. We didn't. We haven't. We didn't set out and think. Okay, we want this many subscribers, and we want this. And it was just let's do this because it would be great to have some kind of a social media following with folks that would be interested in what we're interested in. And we love movies, so we always talk about movies. So let's just start. Let's just start doing reactions to trailers and movie reviews, and and just just us doing that that became this is that people ask, you know. It's funny, I tell people about the channel and usually their first response here in America is, mm, great business. Like this one dude the other day I was driving, he's like, yeah, you should check out this and make sure of your algorithms and your things and your that. And I'm like, yeah, I know that that, that makes sense from a business standpoint, but yeah. we, we've never viewed this as business I've ever. Talk, I've talked to like um, CPN, like channel managing networks, uh, and I have a friend that he, he called me because uh, they wanted to see if we could sign the channel, it's not gonna happen, but uh, I, they wanted to see if they could sign the channel to their network, which helps the channel and find sponsors and all that kind of stuff. But he, first thing he said, uh, he said, just off the record, this was a calculated risk, right? I mean, this was a calculated thing, right? I'm like, what? He said, yeah, Indian like, content. Like, yeah, you went after Indian content intentionally, right? No. It's like, uh, <laughs> no. It actually it came happened to us. completely by accident. Completely by accident. So, like it's 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 a misconception, but the fact that like we found it and we now have actors, directors, artists that we are now 
we are passionate about and we love and we follow uh, and, and that's rewarding in and of itself because I just love finding good actors yeah, good and, and creatives and artists and, and then the amount of people that we've now come in contact with that are just yeah that love what we love and they love to talk about movies yeah. and actors and it's the, the bottom line I think you know this from being around the channel but for those of you who may be new we the, one of the things that we have in common and why we connected for so long is number one we're both extraordinarily passionate about artistry and acting and film and and we would never do anything or support anything that was undermining what we know are the the truths about this art form mm -hmm. uh, and we would never sell ourselves for this art form we would never undermine the art form and we feel the same way about people we have a very high value for human beings and cultures and respect for people and for anybody out there who would view what we do, you just don't know us. I see the comments all the time because there are people who are only doing reactions and taking advantage of the Indian market because it is a quote unquote market to them and that's all they've ever seen it as. We don't, we not only don't see this as that, which you know, but if, you know, I'll get a message, hey, I would like to help you guys get more subscribers. That's like an immediate delete. That's yeah. never a motivation. And we're, we're not only is it not a mo mo motivation, we're on guard against the, the trappings that can come where you inadvertently aren't even being intentional and you realize, wait a minute, I don't want to lose sight of the real reason we do this. The real reason we do this, we love the art forms, we love the people. And when you start thinking subscribers and money and views and ad dollars, you will completely, it's just like artists mm -hmm. who started doing their craft for the love of the craft and got caught up in the fame and the money and then they realized after six or seven films I've got to get back to what I love doing because I've only been doing this now because my management's been saying this is going to be good for your image and blah blah I'm off my soapbox now <laughs> I agree yeah, I know you do <laughs> I know you do <laughs> but thank so, you so much that's insane and he, we if love you ever you. want to send us uh, art like people draw uh, us all the time or do like um, uh, animations or different things like that. Send it to me on Twitter. I will yeah, probably that's a place to do it. it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we might even put it on our Instagram. Uh, it's just because we like to share that kind of love that we're given uh, and, and all that kind of stuff. So please don't hesitate to send any of that because we will. And that's more likely for me to see it too because if you send stuff to me on Instagram, my Instagram account's getting high enough now that it's really, really hard for me to keep track and stay on top. I just, I can't keep track of messages anymore. I try. So those of you who've reached out to me on Instagram and I haven't responded, I'm not ignoring you. I'm, I'm getting hundreds and hundreds but of messages a day. Thank you for sending us all these. This is, this is great. Hugely I love this. beautiful. Love you. Love you.